Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I went to New York City last year for a business conference and had two to three one hour um, stints of time where I could take street photography photos. And one thing I really noticed when there's that much going on and everything's crazy around you, there's so many opportunities for a photograph to be made. You can miss a lot and you will miss a lot. There's no doubt about that. No matter how present you are or how quick you are with the shutter um, and how quick you are at composing an image, uh, it's easy to miss things. But one thing I noticed watching back the POV video, which you can watch, I'll link it somewhere, is the amount of chimping that I was doing. Uh, I'm still very new to street photography as a like intentional style of photography. And, you know, I think a, a newbie kind of thing to do in photography, street photography in general, and maybe it's not even a noob thing. It's just something we tend to want to do because we have these very fast digital cameras with lots of space is to chimp. By chimping, if you don't know what it means, it's basically when you take a photo, you immediately review it on your camera. We have these cameras now with a screen. You can take a photo and immediately look and see how well you were exposed or how well your composition was. And that's very valuable. But one thing I realized watching the POV video was I was missing photo opportunities because I kept looking down immediately after taking almost every single photo to say, hey, did I capture something good there? How was the exposure? Checking all that stuff. That's a very valuable tool to be able to check those things when you really are trying to get a perfect image um, in a slower setting. But I felt I wanted to try a, a challenge, a no chimp challenge where I turned off the um, preview. So you can usually set it for a matter of seconds or something. I completely turned that off and I wanted to just kind of go about taking photos in a more in the moment way. I wanted to not be distracted by the photo I just took and instead just immediately be looking for the next opportunity. So last week I went downtown uh, brought my Fujifilm X-T4 and turned off the preview mode on the camera so that when I took a photo, it wouldn't show me um, the photo I just took. It would just immediately be in live view mode again. So without further ado, here's the No Chimp Challenge. Yeah, I'll send that over later. Awesome. Uh, Good stuff, man. Well, enjoy. Thanks yeah, a lot. for sure. Spencer, by the way. Sam. Sam, nice, nice to meet you.
Hey, brothers! <laughs> So interesting experience. My first thought while I was doing it and after as well was it felt very much like shooting on film. Uh, you can't immediately review what you were looking at on the old analog film cameras. And I really enjoyed the experience. I think the most surprising thing was I didn't feel like I was really missing anything. It didn't feel that different. I felt um, a few times I would look at the camera to check the image and of course it wasn't there to check. Um, I never hit the playback button, which was 
nice. It's not that instinctive yet for me to do that, I guess. But I think I was just mostly surprised at how not difficult it was. And I think this is kind of a testament to how natural it is to not immediately review your images after taking them. So overall, I thought the experience was fun. I don't even know if it's something that I won't do in the future or if I even want to just start shooting that way. I'm not sure. Like I said, it feels more present and in the moment you compose your image, take the shot and move on. You don't stay in that spot and make sure you got the perfect image or recompose. Um, so I think a lot of this process in photography as well kind of makes you have to really look at your images and post and say, is there anything here, right? Like I didn't set this up perfectly. Maybe I was off a little bit or tilted or whatever it might be. Can I regain the value of this photo by cropping differently or by messing with exposure maybe in a little bit different way than I would if I had set that stuff perfectly? One thing I guess that really stuck out to me is I think at the end of the 45 minutes, 47 minutes, whatever it was that I was taking photos, I felt like I really didn't get any good photos. Um, none of them really stuck out to me in my head. And upon reviewing the photos, I was actually surprised at some of them. And I think what happens is when you're walking around taking photos and immediately previewing them, you're seeing the same scene like it's, it's being pasted, like exposed on your mind longer, if we're going to use camera terms. So it sort of imprints on you. Like maybe you take a picture of a woman walking in her dress flows, uh, and you thought it was a good photo, and then you review it, and it's flowing so perfectly, and oh, look at her hair. Wow, I didn't notice she had that facial expression on. And you're really sort of ingraining that image in your mind, and then at the end of the shoot, you're like, well, that one photo I took of that lady was awesome, right? And I feel like because there weren't those longer exposures of the image on my mind, um, I didn't realize that I had taken decent photos. And upon reviewing them, I was sort of pleasantly surprised. And so I feel if I shoot this way in the future, um, I will very much more so look forward to reviewing the images, not just because you finally get to see the ones you took, kind of like film, but also because they may or may not be better than what you thought when you were taking them. Overall, it was an interesting challenge. I would recommend that all of you, if you're photographers, if you're street photographers, um, documentary, journalistic kind of stuff, where you're not getting paid, right, to take perfect images, uh, to try this out. Just go around, take photos. You can take way more than you can on a film camera, right, uh, on digital, but see what that experience is like for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoy all things photography, specifically street journalistic sort of storytelling through photography, then please subscribe to the channel. I put out videos as often as I can. And of course, like this video because it will help the algorithm say, wow, this is something worth showing. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one.